Moderna is seeking full FDA approval for its COVID-19 vaccine, and last week it said its shots were strongly effective in kids as young as 12. Well, this week we took those topics and more to USF Health virologist Dr. Michael Tang. Uh, Moderna has said that its vaccine is effective in preventing the virus in kids as young as 12. Mm -hmm. It's not approved just yet, but right. once this is out on the market, what's the impact of that? Right now, it's just the Pfizer vaccine. But if you know the FDA gives allows uh, Moderna to amend their emergency use authorization to include uh, kids down to age 12, now we'll be able to more quickly vaccinate our you know school age, our middle school and upper school, uh, high school type of children. They don't sit in one classroom all the time, so it's harder to do contact tracing with you know middle school students or high school students when they have you know different classrooms for different periods of the day. It's a little easier for elementary school because they have a room, right? A home room with a teacher. When and if Moderna's vaccine is approved for those younger teens, mm -hmm. how should a parent go about deciding whether or not to get the Pfizer vaccine or the Moderna vaccine for their kid? So these two are basically very similar uh, vaccines. So it, it really doesn't matter. I would just say get the first one you can. You know, right now there's plenty of both of them out there. So. Mm -hmm whichever one is available. We've talked about the, the vaccine and it, it um, you know, being pretty effective against the mutations that are out there. Is this virus ever gonna stop mutating? <laughs> it's not gonna stop mutating. And it's certainly not gonna stop mutating when we have high levels of transmission, not just in the United States, but throughout, throughout the world, because there are a lot of places that haven't even seen a single vaccine dose. You know, as long as there are these large areas where uh, the virus has, um, you know, people who are not immune to, to replicate in. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep mutating. The, the vaccines that we have right now, the Moderna, the Pfizer, the J&J, um, &J, they seem to cover all the variants that have been coming out, but really only after the second dose for the mRNA vaccines. So if you're going to get an mRNA vaccine, you got to get that second dose because the first dose isn't enough to cover all the variants. If you have a question for Dr. Tang, you can text them to us anytime. The number right there, 727-577-8522. We'll bring you his answers each week on Brightside.